This is Political Blind Date. You know, the asylum seeker issues is an ongoing uh, issue. I mean, one thing that I truly believe, right, if the government uh, suspended the Safe Third Country Agreement, I think we can settle the situation with the border communities. Uh, and, and I think we can better manage the situation. I really do. It would be far more orderly. We can expect that people can come through. They would be processed, as you know, through the rigorous process that already is in place. Uh, and then, you know, then we can deal with it accordingly. So it, it, it does reinforce the point, though, that the United States, in my view, is not a safe country for the asylum seekers. That's why they're fleeing to come to Canada uh, to get to safety. They're not trying to take advantage of us in any way, shape, or form. It's just because for them, the U.S. is not a safe well, country. We've talked about this how so, many times, Jenny. Like, I, I, like I, I, think, I think we've talked about it virtually every day during committee now for the last several months. And so now that, you're a, now that you're a part of the secretary, you can get no, closer I've, to the cabinet not, table I've, and move I've, this along, I've yeah? I have nothing to do with this issue, but, but notwithstanding <laughs> that, from a principal perspective, you know, our border is open, right? And I think that's that's the message. But it's it's also um, the message is that we're screening people who are coming in. We're screening them for health. We're screening them for, um, you know, for criminality and other things. This is This well. is something where we, I think, fundamentally agree in terms of the vision of Canada on this. We can disagree on maybe some of the mechanics, but I do think this is where you know, our collective voice needs to come together. No, but I think that on the whole, right, that we, we are in agreement that Canada should be a country that is a beacon of hope to the rest of the world, that Canada should illustrate how we can do it differently. And we do, in the sense that we do have an open border, with the exception, though, with the Safe Third Country Agreement, we are forcing people to come through irregular crossings, risking life and limb. Uh, Mr. Sadu came to our committee, right? And he lost the digits on his fingers. That's a completely unnecessary. That is something that we could have prevented. And that's why we're, I'm calling for this. We have another close right? to 30,000 people who, who have come across safely, right? And, well, and, and yeah, well, but, but those are different streams, as you know, right? And the situation with the United States have changed because of Trump. I think we're in agreement. We don't want to fan fear. We don't want to create division. But the longer the situation is allowed to continue, Continue, we are allowing those who want to fan fear, those who use this as a wedge issue for political gain, uh, to create the kind of division that's but, hurtful but, to but all of us is, in a multicultural society. This is where I, you know, I, I say as, a, as, a, as an NDP or as someone who's very progressive, um, I do think the, the, the NDP stand on this. I think it needs to be, I think, more in line with where we are at, right? Because I think what, what, what we found ourselves this summer is that we have the right, you know, and, and you know, the Conservative Party and and now the offshoot, um, you know, really, uh, you know, going very hard on this issue. They are scapegoating, you know, newcomers, um, and and you know, for strictly for political benefit, right? And, yeah. and I don't believe that our visions of Canada and our visions of of this society is that different because you and I have spoken enough times to know that. I, I, I think there's difference in approach. I think there's a difference yes. in. You know, per, perhaps some of the mechanics behind, you know, our immigration system, uh, but I don't think they're so fundamentally different. I, I where mean, I, I, I think on that issue, I think you're right, but you know, the devil is in the details. How you deal with these things matter, and that detail matter, right? Because it makes all the changes. But the macro issue matters too now. Because well, well, it right, does. Right now it, 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 it does. It, it is about but, but hence, but hence this, right? So the business as usual approach that the government has taken, the reactionary approach, what I think is a reactionary approach, the ad hoc approach that the government has taken, I think has allowed for that division uh, and fanning of the fear. Uh, that those who want to use it for political gain uh, to really uh, jettison the issue way up there and is creating a backlash. And which is why I say, look, we tried it your way. Uh, it's been uh, since January of last year. So isn't it time to try a different uh, approach? And, and, and the different and, approach and, and, and is so I, I nuanced. Think, I think the numbers, right? think the numbers kind of speak for itself. The numbers well, the numbers does speak for itself the because numbers, most people who come are, actually are, are eligible down, right? to make a claim. The, the numbers, numbers speak for itself. The numbers are going so, down, so. Anyway. anyway that's <laughs> coffee. This is Political Blind Date.